main play for the guard to guard to forward outside cut is to get the weak side forward, who's a good shooter, an outside shot as he comes to the strong side. Actually, uh, you might say I stole this in the sense from uh, Adolph up in Kentucky. They had used something very similar. We've made a few changes, but similar. And the guard goes to fort, goes outside. Now he's going to go down and hold it right here. He's going to set a screen right down there behind the players we see now. Now this guard that's out here should be over here a little more. He should have faked down and got the ball here. Now the forward that was over here is faking back. He comes across and right in there, we expect him to get a shot. Uh, remember, this was when we didn't have the three-point shot. And with the three-point shot, we probably would have, uh, could have uh, angled the two, uh, the center and the guard here, and have the man come out more this way, as this shows the ear getting for the three-point shot. Best example, uh, 1962, in our semifinal game in the National Championship, University of Cincinnati, we got well behind, and we ran this play several times and scored several baskets. Gary Cunningham was a good jump shooter forward. And Pete Blackman, the other forward, is a pretty good jump shooter. And we set that, uh, set that up for both of them, along with another uh, uh, set to get them jump shots. Now, there'd be other uh, areas when using the high post offense. Uh, for example, when I had uh, forwards like uh, Curtis Rowe and uh, Sidney Wicks, entirely different from Cunningham and Blackman, we used something different more because it was more adaptable to their particular strengths. 